should be looking for. Yeah. So, I mean, the hedge fund industry has been under a lot of pressure. Uh, if you've been following, there have been record numbers of fund closings in recent times and a large amount of AUM. I think last year was the biggest outflow year for hedge funds. So hedge funds are under pressure. They have underperformed the markets for almost a decade now. It's partially because this decade, the market's been going up every single year. But in 2018, when the market went down, hedge funds still underperformed, right? And so investors have been asking more and more, not just about hedge funds, but more generally about active management, where, why are we paying fees, right? Why are we, why are we paying fees if you're going to underperform? And yes, there's been underperformance, and rightfully or wrongfully, investors have started to, I don't know, I don't want to say confuse, but have started to think, I don't know if the word is think, but investors think passive means safe, right? And because of that, like a lot of assets continue to move to the passive side. So the hedge fund is, so the, the trend is, it's not being positive, right? fund closures, AUM going out. So what's happening is a consolidation in the hedge fund industry right now. So the small, so as you said, technology, right? And coding and the ability to understand factors beyond fundamentals that move stock prices. They're pretty much called factors, factor exposure, right? Like why are all cheap stocks down today? because the value factor, not this is an example, right? Because the value factor is underperforming, right? But why is every single growth stock going up? Because growth is outperforming. Um, so just the firms that have the tools to understand like the technicals and the other things that drive stock price sentiment are the ones that are getting their assets. So if you look at Millennium or its spin out Exodus point, was able to raise $8 billion in one year. SAC raised $5 billion. Millennium and Citadel remain closed, right? So the multi-manager platforms continue to attract assets, right? But remember, they are less fundamental. This private equity-like long-term hold style is moving more private. So if you take a look at Viking, you take a look at Lone Pine, you take a look at Tiger, they now all have private funds. So this super concentrated long-term kind of investing at the largest places is moving to the private side and the smaller funds that want to do that are closing. So in terms of skills, I would recommend coding or just an ability to navigate large data sets. So we are seeing quantum mental, where there are also quantitative aspects, but fundamental also. So being able to build the model, right? Being able to understand the differentiation um, in the story, but also being able to navigate large data sets and to create differentiated data sets. Because what, what is you're going to need to find edge, right? And edge has been created more and more by finding, by finding data sets. Like that's, that is what's happening at the large multi-manager firms. And these other concentrated funds are starting to go private. On a few minutes just on.